guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought i would give you like a little tour of my i should probably take my glasses off i'm sorry it's so hard when i film with my glasses on because there's a glare and all i can focus on in the video is the glare in the viewfinder so i thought i would give you guys a little tour of my bar cart my at home bar cart um i'm very into wines cocktails and things like that and i get questions every so often asking if i can do like cocktail videos but i honestly don't know how to make any i have a recipe book and i just follow those recipes but i don't like make up my own cocktails so i kind of don't think i can do a video like that but i am very passionate about my bar cart i love it i got my specific bar cart two years ago for christmas uh, my sister actually bought it for me as a christmas gift because it was on my list i wanted one so bad because in my house i don't have a big kitchen we are renting this house for the time being so i don't have a huge kitchen so i don't have a space that i could put like a little bar area whenever i get a house though i definitely do want like a little built-in bar for the last couple of years i've just been slowly investing into really pretty cocktail glasses really nice wine glasses, just all the things that I need and tools that I need to be able to make cocktails whenever I have friends over, if it's a Friday and I just wanna make some drinks and stuff like that. So I figured I would show you guys my bar cart and then I'm gonna sit down and I think kind of show you like some of the items that I have. A lot of them were ordered from Amazon. So I'll be, be able to link a lot of these and they're also in my Amazon storefront. If you guys already check out my Amazon storefront, you'll find a lot of these there. So yeah, I just thought this video would be fun. It'd be a little bit different from like either a vlog or a styling video or like anything having to do with clothing. I have even like art on the walls and stuff like that. So let's get started. So my bar cart is directly when you walk into my home before you go to the kitchen. So my kitchen is over there and on my bar cart or above my bar cart, I knew I wanted something having to do with drinks up on the walls. So I got all of these from Decenio. This is not sponsored at all. I paid for all of these. They don't even know I exist, but I bought all of these. I actually need to clean this one or like replace this um, like frame because I had a candle here and the soot like got all over there, but for all of these i got the wine guide and it has kind of like a breakdown of all the wines pinot grigio sav blanc pinot noir chardonnay cab sav i'm a huge wine drinker i love wine so i love this one i knew i wanted something having to do with wine i found this little thing at i think like marshall's or home goods or something i wanted something that said like bar or drinks or something like that and i couldn't find anything that was just like plain so i just got that one and then over here i have these coupes this is a print of two coupes that have rosé in them up here is a black and white little thing of kind of like a line work of champagne and then right here i have a negroni which i actually really like this cocktail very strong if you don't like like bourbon or anything like that you won't like this but i loved the artwork of this like i thought it was just so pretty it's such a pretty print and then scooting back here i have my actual bar cart like i mentioned my sister actually bought me this bar cart and i don't know exactly where she got it from but i'll leave tons of different similar options down below all right so i wheeled my bar cart all the way over here um actually it's not that far it's just literally right there so i figured i would talk to you guys about what's on my bar cart uh the styling and just like little things like that let's start off with the barware the glassware so i bought these glasses on um Amazon I cannot remember for the life of me how much I paid for them I've had them for a while but I just thought they were so pretty and they remind me of like when Tyler and I go to the bar if we go to like a cocktail bar or something like that and we get cocktails they always bring them in like really pretty short cocktail glasses like this so I knew I wanted just some really cute classic really really simple and like kind of timeless cocktail glasses I, this is something that I would see like my dad drink bourbon out of or like cognac or something like that And I just I love them. I love how like this is like typical bar Cocktail glass so whenever I make myself cocktails depending on what it is sometimes I'll drink it out of a Champagne flute if I'm drinking something with champagne sometimes I'll drink it out of a cocktail glass I have margarita glasses as well. I have a couple different types of cocktail glasses But this is like my standard cocktail glass like this is what I'll use if I'm just making like a quick drink for me and Tyler if I'm um, just something super super simple I know the glass has a lot to do like the drink has a lot to do with the glass that it's in I try to keep my drinks with the appropriate glass because it just it's a different experience and especially when I'm doing things at home I like everything to be an experience 
So these are the cocktail glasses. I got a set of six from Amazon. So I will leave these linked down below for you guys. Everything is in my Amazon storefront, but I'll link them just for easier access. Over here, I have my shot glasses. And again, with the shot glasses, I wanted something very, very traditional and simple. I wanted something that looked like you would get it at a bar if you were at a restaurant or at just like a bar with some friends. So I got these also from Amazon and they're just simple and thick and simple that's what i wanted with these specific types of things like i wanted things that were very 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 traditional you guys know my style of lots of things i'm like a, a mix of traditional and eclectic not super eclectic i'm like traditional and modern like i'm a mix of both of them so i ended up getting these i think it was a set of six but i think i left two of them like put away i don't remember then when it comes to other glasses so down here on the bottom of the bar you can see right here i have a couple like a mixture of a couple different glasses um i actually need to replace almost all of my wine glasses because i break them so easily i had a set of four of these this is like my one of my favorite wine glasses is the olivia pope wine glass these i believe are from are they from crate and barrel pretty sure they're from crate and barrel um, but they're the huge, huge ones, and these are for red wine. So I got these specifically for red wine. They're, they look like little bowls. Like, they're really, really big, um, long stem, and they're just beautiful. Like I said, I had a set of four, and I broke all of them except for one. So I need to replace the other three. Also for my wine glasses, another thing that I need to replace. These are, like, my favorite wine glasses. I use these more for white wine and, like, rosé and stuff. But these I got from Amazon as well, and I love the shape of them i love this situation i bought these i think like last year the year before so i've broken a lot of them in this time but i love these i'm definitely gonna rebuy these again because i just i love the shape it's very classic this is like a wine glass shape that will never ever ever go out of style so i love these these are the ones that i use like on a more consistent basis because in the summertime i drink a lot of white wines and rosés and then once i get to the winter time is when i drink more like Cab Sabs and Pinot Noirs and stuff like that. Another type of glass that I have is a margarita glass. So I bought these at Ikea, one random trip. It was like the most random trip and all we got was the olive, the fake olive tree and these margarita glasses. I wish I would have bought more. I only bought two um, back when I did, but I love them. And like I said, the glass, I feel like the glass needs to go with the cocktail or like with the drink, like for it to make sense. So I love these margarita glasses whenever I make spicy margaritas or strawberry margaritas or really any type of margarita. I always use these because it just makes the experience that much better because you're drinking it out of the correct glass. Um, I'll see if I can find similar ones down below because um, these are very old. I got these like two years ago, but I'll see what I can find and I'll link them down below. Hopefully I can find some on Amazon because I'd love to buy more of these. I'm going to go back up top um, so we can talk about what's going on over here so up here i have a random airpod case which needs to go down i have some coasters so these are some black coasters i've had these for ages like i don't even know how long i've had these for a very long time but they're just kind of like a a piece of stone and i liked how masculine these were i like for my bar to look a little bit more manly i don't like it super girly and pink and i don't like that i like for this to be a little bit more manly than feminine um, so I got these and I love these. These I just took from a different part of the house. I like to keep a lot of older things because I never know how I'm going to want to like rework them into other things in the house. Or if I redo something, I might have something that I want to put there that I already own. So I got these. I generally don't remember where these are from. They're so old, but I love that they're like a stone and they just look really pretty with like a... A glass. So underneath the coasters i have two cocktail glasses there's i have to dust this i literally have to dust this like every couple of days because it gets so dusty especially because it's glass so i have two cocktail glasses here or cocktail books here this one tyler actually bought me for christmas he put this like in my stocking because that was when i was really really going in on really wanting to redo the bar and just like get really nice stuff to put there um i'm still not done i still have a lot of things that i want to get and just like things that i want to replace but i'm going very slowly because i want everything that i buy to just be like a nice investment that's going to last us even when we move into our home maybe i won't have the bar card anymore maybe i'll have a, a new car or a new bar and i'll be able to bring all these things and i'll still love these things and want to put them in the bar at home so this is the essential cocktail book and this is a complete guide to modern drinks with 150 recipes so when tyler got me this i was so excited i went through every single page so you can literally go to any page and like this is something 
this is a Campari. So this is a drink that would have Campari in it. There's this, which is a martini that uses gin. It tells you what the, um, you can't see up here, but it tells you if the drink is stirred, shaken, or muddled, or anything like that. And then it tells you the, the um, liquor that it uses. And then it'll tell you how much it serves. It'll give you all the ingredients and then tell you exactly what to do. And then there's a picture with it, which I think is great. This is a Negroni, which is that drink that's up there. Um, it's, a, like I said, a very strong drink. It's like an acquired thing. There's Palomas. There's, what is this? Queens Park Swizzle. There's drinks that I've never heard of in my life. Um, and it's just super cool because I wanted to, I told myself I wanted to try a new cocktail every week. I have not done that. My favorite one that I've done so far is the French 75. That's like my favorite cocktail. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it in here. Um, here it is, the French 75. I love this drink. It's gin, lemon juice, simple syrup, champagne or sparkling wine, and then lemon peel. I never put the lemon peel. I need to. But like even the glasses are just so cool. And I just, I love this book. Especially like during the holidays, I feel like I'd do this. I'd use this even more because I feel like during the holidays, you kind of like experiment more with drinks and stuff like that. So I love this. Like this is one of my favorite things that Tyler has ever bought me. Actually, I think he bought it at like Barnes and Noble or something. I'm pretty sure. And then this one I ordered on Amazon after he bought me that one. Cause I was like, okay, now I need like a stack of books. So this is called the art of bar cart styling. So I was super excited about this because this actually shows you way to style your bar cart with different themes. So this is like the tequila cart. And this is like, if you're having a party and let's say you're doing like a Mexican theme party and you want like a tequila bar cart, it shows you everything that you need to do that. A punch cart, there's a beer cart if you just want beers on it. There's a low proof cart. I don't know what that is. Um, a holiday cart, which is so cute. I'm definitely gonna do something like this for Christmas. There's like red on there, candy canes, just really, really cute. Um, the whimsical cart is just such a cute book. And there's recipes on here as well. So I bought both of these. Well, I bought this book to go with this book to put on the bar cart so I can just stack some stuff. I definitely wanna get more. I'll probably put more on like my Christmas wish list because I love cocktail recipes and stuff like that. So I have both of these on here. Now I'm gonna go with like my tools and like my instruments. So all of these I bought kind of randomly. I bought like at different times and from different places. So first off I have the pitcher i actually need to clean this because it's kind of dusty um so this is for like if you're gonna mix a drink and you put it in here and you actually end up using a stir like this i've had this stir for like four years maybe um i have this one and i also have a silver one yeah i have this one here this one came with like a shaker set that one of my friends got me um so i just have stirs because you put all of your you know materials in there and then you stir it up it's nice and tall so you don't have to use a tiny spoon and like get your hand in there um, I think I got this picture at, on Amazon. I cannot remember, but it's just really good to stir up your drinks and then you use the jigger and pour it right out. Not the jigger, the strainer, sorry. And you pour it right out. So with that is the strainer. So this is what you use to strain all of your drinks. If you're using citrus, if there's ice in there, after you like shake them up or stir them up, you will use this like this, put your hand on there and you kind of like pour it out like that and it just comes out of the spout. This is like an absolute must, like you need this. Then I have the jigger. So I have this gold jigger. I cannot remember where I bought this. Might have been Amazon, might have been Target, I don't remember. But it has the large size on one side and then the smaller side on the other. So this is, you just measure your, your shots, your ingredients, all that good stuff. And I keep everything in the pitcher. Just keep it organized. And I have this cute little wine bottle opener. I very, very rarely ever use this. It's more for like decor because it says cheers. I do not remember where I bought this or if I got this as a gift. It's very, very old. Like I said, I keep my stuff for a long time and I try to rework things in, but it matched the colors and there's silver and gold in there. So I was like, I'm just going to put it in the pitcher. Then I have my muddler. I actually have not muddled anything yet. I don't usually make cocktails that have like that you need to muddle, but this is like you hold this and you like if you're gonna use berries or strawberries or mint or anything like that, you use this at the bottom of the pitcher to muddle the ingredients. That is my pitcher that I actually need to clean. Then I have two shakers. Um, I actually need to replace this one, it's broken. Um, and then I have this one, which I actually, I don't think I've ever used this one, I'm gonna be honest. Um, this one here, one of my friends bought me for Christmas 
and it gives you the ingredients if you want to make a drink so it has margarita and then you literally like turn this it tells you how to make a Tom Collins, Mojito, Mai Tai, Manhattan, Whiskey Sour, Martini, Cosmopolitan. And you just keep spinning it and it has the ingredients right there. And then when you pull this up, you see this is broken. There we go. You pull this up and you can filter the drink through there or you can open it this way. I need to replace it because this part is messed up, but I'll do that eventually. And then this other one, I believe my older sister got me with the, actually that's where it came from. My older sister got it for me with this Cheers um, opener. I've never used it, but it's really pretty, so I don't want to get rid of it. I can use it, I just never have because it's glass. And when I'm shaking things, I shake super hard. But yeah, I should use it. There's no reason for me not to use it. And then the last part of my tools is this little combination right here. My best friend got this for me for... I think one Christmas or something. I've had it for such a long time. This is from a brand called Be Full. I'm pretty sure I saved something like this on my Amazon storefront um, because this is an electric wine opener. So you literally go like this and it pulls the cork up. You go like that and it pulls the cork or it digs into the cork. And then this you hold on to, I'm just gonna show you with this bottle. You put this on top of the, like the aluminum that's wrapped around the cork and you just like go like that and spin it and it breaks the seal so you don't have to like cut yourself or anything like that. This is like my favorite thing ever. Now I guess we can talk about a couple of the liquors that I have on here. I usually always have my wine in the fridge because I like my fridge, my, I like my wine cold for the most part. But my favorite uh, liquors are gin and tequila. Those are like really the only two that I drink. Tyler likes um, like bourbons, whiskeys and stuff like that. So I have his on the bottom and mine on the top because he doesn't drink very often. It's very, very, very rare. So this is one of my favorite gins. It's Empress Gin. It's 1908. It's indigo. And it you see how like that? So this um, gin, when you mix it with citrus, whether it's lemon, orange, anything like that, it turns color. So it turns like a light purple or pink. So it's super pretty. Gin kind of tastes like juniper, if you're like familiar with that smell. Very, very floral. Oh, I love this gin so much. I had done like... A French 75 with this and then my sister came over so I made like 10 French 75s So that's why I barely have any but I love this gin. This is one that I like always rebuy There's a couple more that I like but with my bar carts I won't buy a new um, alcohol unless like there's a specific purpose for it because I don't drink like liquor like this super often I usually just drink like wine and stuff then I have two tequilas that I bought in Mexico so I have a mezcal and I have a reposado. I think I had a... I know I had another one. I just can't remember if I finished it or what. But I bought this a long time ago. Yeah, I bought this a while ago. Um, but this is from the brand Centenario. They were just like, do you want the best tequila? And I was like, sure. And so they just brought me this. Um, but it's really good. Like I said, I don't drink it all the time. I've had this for like over a year. I don't drink um, tequila like at home randomly unless I'm like, you know what? I want a cocktail then i'll pull this out i also love like what everybody likes i love casamigos i really love milagro i love there's a couple tequilas that i really like and then i have this one which is 400 conejos which is 400 rabbits so this is from oaxaca it's a different part of uh, mexico and the guy said that it, this was like made in like it's artisanal tequila so if you've never had mezcal mezcal is very smoky very smoky um, a lot of people don't like it. I personally do especially if you mix it with like a fruit like if you mix it with like Pineapple or something more sweet. It tastes like a smoky sweet fruit So that's why this one has a little bit well a lot more in it because this is like a very specific type of tequila under here I have a couple of like little mixers. Well first off, let me finish with the whiskeys So this is one of Tyler's whiskeys. It's the blackened whiskey he usually gets like whiskeys and stuff as gifts because he doesn't really buy it so a lot of like his clients will come and when they tattoo him or when he tattoos them they'll give him like a bottle of whiskey and it ends up lasting like years because he doesn't he's not a big drinker he'll drink during the holidays he'll drink like if people are over but he's not a big drinker so guys there is my little bar cart tour i hope you guys liked it everything that i can link including the decenio prints i will link for you guys i hope you enjoyed i hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration on your at-home bar and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye